Do you know when you're, oh wow, the first word. <laughs> Do you know when you're watching a movie and the character does something unexpected? It feels like such a surprise. Help me. That's kind of like what OCD feels like for some people. And some with OCD have the fear of acting out of character. Just like these movies, these individuals were acting in a way that you did not even expect. It's definitely a shock to the system. Some individuals with OCD will worry that if they don't do something that fits within their usual behavior or values, their life is gonna be ruined. Maybe they'll act out of character. It's like they have a strict script and they must follow it at all times. This is extremely hard within OCD. Individuals who have this often have these intrusive thoughts that are ego dystonic, meaning it's typically not a thought that matches their value system or who they are. It's not even something they want to do. But they worry, if I keep having these thoughts, what if I'm being forced into doing something that's not actually me? I actually feel like I could do it and it's not worth risking that I don't. We know the way we think is going to be the way that we feel. This is why it is very common for individuals to feel like they will do a behavior or act out of character in some way or another. They are getting pounded with this thought time and time and time again. It almost feels like the more times they have this thought, the more likely it is that they're gonna give in to it. Here's an example. Every time I walk near somebody, maybe in the grocery store, my brain throws out this intrusive thought, you just walked by that person. Did you possibly touch them inappropriately? Sometimes this thought feels so absolutely real that the person actually doesn't even know if they did or not. And when they have that thought time and time and time again for every person they walk by, how do you not react to that? Their brain's like, you had to have given into this thought. It was so strong and you kept having it. It's important. We already know this doesn't match their value system. In fact, it's probably the least likely thing that they do. Don't use that for reassurance. You know what I'm talking about. The gravity of this is very strong. If they actually gave into this thought, they would ruin their future in some way or another. Whether they just go to jail or they just aren't the person that other people thought they were. They're a fraud. It especially doesn't help when individuals online use the terms like, well that person gave in to their intrusive thoughts when something terrible happens in the world. No, it doesn't work like that. One thing I hear time and time again is that people really do feel like others don't know who they really are. Are. I'm a smiley guy, I'm nice to everybody, but if they only knew the thoughts that were in my head, they wouldn't like me. They would probably say, put him in jail. But the thing is that people are missing here are that these aren't the thoughts that you are bringing in. These are the thoughts that OCD is bringing in. And sometimes people bring in those thoughts to continually check if it's really them or OCD, it's very confusing. What? Individuals can have these thoughts of acting out of character in so many different ways. What if I start swearing up a storm in the middle of the movie theater? What if I trip that kid who's running towards me? What if I searched something inappropriate on my work computer? While this is actually a very common fear for a lot of individuals, the cool part is that treatment actually does work. <laughs> This pleases me. We know we can't control the thoughts, but we can control what we're gonna do with it once it gets here. For instance, the most common treatment is exposure and response prevention. We choose to completely allow the thoughts to come our way. We make sure we don't avoid it anything and we don't do any compulsion to make sure that you don't act out of character. In fact, if I'm walking in the grocery store and my brain says, what if I did something inappropriate? I might walk a little bit closer to that person, a little tippy toes, not in a creepy way. I mean, whatever you choose to do. What my brain is going to say is like, what are you doing? I just warned you, you're in danger. Why, why are you going closer to that person? And really what you're teaching your brain is that like, I'm proving to you that I do not care. I'm gonna feel lots of anxiety about it, lots of doubts, lots of questions, but that's okay, because I'm not giving into it. It's like when a sibling says, stop poking me. Guess what they're gonna do? Poke them more. And they're gonna want them to say, stop poking me so they can do it again. That's kind of what you're doing with this treatment. Just stay away from that person. Well, I'm gonna step a little bit closer then. Well, do, what if you did something inappropriate? Well. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I'd spend a little more time on that computer, like whatever it tends to be, just to like poke it, poke it, poke it. It's telling you not to. I am getting closer to what I think is the threat. I'm not saying you need to actually do something inappropriate. I'm saying you get yourself in those positions where your brain might say you did something, but you're not reacting to that thought. And we're trusting in the process. Instead of trying to figure it all out and using logic, I know I would never do that. I'm a good person. We're actually just accepting a thought for a thought. We can even say, yeah, man, cool, thanks. All right, awesome, love it. Thanks for the thought today. 
Sure, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We're not really giving a satisfying answer. The big part is that we're responding as if we do not care. We're not responding with, I better just avoid, just in case this time, this time, this time's different. I always tell people, if there's ever a problem, we will solve it. If we are ever assuming there's going to be a problem or question if I did something, it's not a problem. You know why? Because we are completely guessing. If the kid is running towards my direction and I put my leg out and I tripped him and I see him on the ground and they're crying, I'm not gonna be like, you know what? I wonder if I tripped him or not. I'm gonna know, right? There's a problem for me to solve. I pick him up, I say, sorry, <laughs> help them find their parent. If I'm questioning, that kid's continuing to run, but did I trip him? We know logic doesn't work. So we're saying, sure, man, totally, I tripped him. Even though, you know, he's just running right ahead. Cool, tripped him, whatevs. But Nate, what if I actually did something that was out of character? This is the one sentence that keeps people stuck. The treatment feels like we are risking everything, which is why we often go to the, we don't know. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But we are no longer going to figure this out. How many times, has anyone counted how many times I've said that in this video? Instead, you are choosing to move forward anyway. Cool, thanks for the, the thought today. I'm gonna continue continue moving forward, I'm not gonna change anything about my life right now. Someone who is doing treatment purposely faces these fears and uncertainties. They respond completely different to them. So they go to the grocery store on purpose. They walk around people on purpose. They go to the movie theater and risk that maybe they're gonna swear up a storm. They go to these places, they go do these things that make them feel like they'll do something inappropriate or out of character. And what we find time and time and time again is that nothing happened. We don't use that for reassurance. We use that for teaching the brain. The brain realized, I warned you and nothing happened. And I warned you, but nothing happened. But I warned you and nothing happened. My disappointment is immeasurable. OCD makes people doubt, man. It can even be a bully. So go watch this video right now to help you recognize its tricks and you'll gain the upper hand with your OCD. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.